Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of the body slide and outfit studio tutorial. This video is a continuation of part 2. In part 2, we converted the top from the UUMP base shape to the CBBESE base shape. Also a good reminder that the UUMP base shape is the same shape as the CBBELE base. In part 3, I will show you how to convert the hands and feet piece of the outfit. These pieces usually consist of gloves and gauntlets of varying lengths. For the feet, this can range from short shoes to long thigh-high boots. The process is generally similar for all pieces. The only differences that there might be is that if the gloves or boots are really long, it sometimes requires us to get additional weighting and sliders from the body itself in addition to hands or feet. Anything relating to high heels will be done in its own separate video. One very important note I want to make is that this tutorial now uses the most updated body slide and outfit studio. It is essential that you also update since the UI was slightly changed and an added feature now allows us to quickly remove skinning from objects. Without further ado, open up your outfit studio and load the project containing the gloves piece. Remember, if you don't have pre-existing body slide projects, please refer to part 2 of the tutorial that shows you how to create a project from scratch using just the mesh of the outfit. Once the outfit loads, the first thing we want to do, of course, is to clear the skinning of all pieces. Just select all the mesh, go to edit, and then remove skinning. As a reminder, this will remove all weighting, set partition back to default which is the body, and reset transforms. After the skinning is removed, double-click each mesh, go to Geometry, and re-enable skinning. Once that is completed, go to the Partition tab for each mesh and change it from 32 body to 33 hands since these are the hand pieces after all and it's important for the equip slots in the ESP. Generally speaking for hand items, it is not necessary to use the CBBELE to CBBESE reference to convert the hand items. The shape is exactly as we want them. Anyway, so load the CBBE hands. You will notice that for these gloves, part of the fingers are exposed and part of them are being covered by the gloves themselves. You also immediately notice the clipping. A good tip when it comes to gloves that cover the majority of the hand, you can delete the hand meshes underneath the gloves as they won't be seen in game anyway. Because of this, there is no need to fix the clipping at all in most cases. However, before we delete unseen parts of the hands, we must first copy over the weights and sliders. Never delete parts of the hands before getting the weighting or sliders, otherwise you'd get missing areas of weighting. At this point, we should be familiar with how to copy bone weights and how to copy sliders, so I will quickly gloss over this part. Once weights and sliders are copied over, we will need to borrow weighting from the main CBBE body since the entire gloves were not weighted, as you will soon see. Everyone must pay attention here carefully. When it comes to getting weighting from two references, you must follow these steps in the exact order so that you retain the weighting and sliders of the hands as they will get replaced by the body if not done correctly. The first step here is to right click on the green hands mesh and select set reference. This will unset 
the reference to the hands, and the hands will be treated as a normal mesh. This step is necessary so that the hands won't get replaced by the body when we load it. The second step is to load in the CBBSE body. Either physics or non-physics doesn't matter. Before you go in too quickly, please watch what I do first. You select the CBBE SE body and then make sure at the bottom left that merge new sliders with existing sliders is selected before you hit OK. You might be wondering, why is this necessary? Well, this is necessary because you can see on the right side of the screen the hands came with a wrist slider that we conformed to the gloves. Loading in a new reference removes old sliders by default. We want this box selected so that the wrist slider is not removed from the project. This piece of information applies in all situations where you are using more than one reference to get weights and sliders from. Once the box is selected, click OK. After the body loads, what we want to do is select only the clothing meshes and the mask weighted vertices. This will mask areas of the gloves that were already weighted by the hands before we add weights from the body. This is important because we do not want to replace the areas that were already weighted by the hands. You will see areas turn black which means that the area has been weighted by the hands and the rest that's white is still unweighted. From here, we copy bone weights and conform all sliders as normal. The next step is to mask the meshes again just to see if everything was weighted. Remember to inspect all angles. If everything looks good, we will set the hands as the reference again by right clicking them and setting reference. We will lastly delete the CBBE body as it is no longer needed. Remember when I said that we will be deleting parts of the hands hidden by the clothing? Well now comes that part. What we want to do first is select the clothing meshes and press the G key twice so that we can see through them. This will help us determine what part of the hands are hitting and what parts are exposed. Next, select the masking brush. With the brush selected, change the size so that it's not huge and is big enough for the exposed fingers. We will then brush the parts of the fingers we do not want to delete. It's okay if we partially brush areas hidden by the gloves. When you think the brushing looks good, we will delete whatever was not brushed by going to shape, delete vertices. You will now see only those two fingers remaining. If we were to show the gloves meshes again, you can see that it looks better now. We are done with gloves. Time to save the project. I will reload the gloves, just make sure everything is okay. Next, load the boots. Similar to the gloves, since these boots are kind of long, we will need to borrow weights from both the feet and the body. As always, clear the skinning of the meshes and fix the partitions. Only this time, change the partition to 37 feet. 
When completed, load the CBBE LE to CBBE SE body reference. Unlike the arms, the legs for both CBBE LE and SE are actually different. So we need to use the conversion reference for long boots. When the body loads, quickly check to see if there's clipping and then go ahead and conform all. After conforming, set base shape. When that's finished, load the feed reference. When the feed loads, you will see that it kinda clips with the boots. This is okay. Since the boots covers the entire foot, we will be deleting the foot afterwards because it's not seen in game so it doesn't have to be included. From here, we will copy bone weights and conform all quickly. Next, it's time to load the CBB SE body. Similar to the gloves, make sure the box on the bottom right is check marked before clicking yes. The feet come with two sliders that we do not want to get rid of. After the body loads, mask weighted vertices of the boots and then copy bone weights and conform all. Afterwards, mask weighted vertices again and inspect the mesh to see if anything was unweighted. If everything looks good, go ahead and delete the body and save your project. After saving, we're finished. I will reload the boots just to make sure everything is correct and then close Outfit Studio. Open Body Slide to see if Body Slide Project is also correct. Well that concludes part 3. Part 3 is an important part because it shows you how to properly borrow weighting from two different shapes without losing weights and sliders from the first reference. Many mod authors aren't aware of this step and they often lose the weighting and sliders. For part 4, we will go over how to port the rest of the accessories for this outfit. At this point, you should be comfortable with copying bone weights and conforming all and masking weighting to check if everything was weighted. The next video will show more parts being converted, but I'll be doing my actions faster and only highlight the more important steps. I'll see you all in the next video.